Dear children, this is the second video based on process of respiration. In a previous video, you learned the uh, process of respiration and the respiratory system. And in this video, I hope to describe some of the diseases and disorders associated with the respiratory system. And nowadays, uh, there's a worldwide epidemic, you know, the corona. It is also associated with the respiratory system. I think and I hope uh, you will be studying about the corona, uh, how the disease spread and the causative agent and what are the measures to minimize the spreading of corona. However, it is not in the syllabus, but it is good to know about this disease in more detail uh, because your GCE O level examination uh, will be held in December and when the paper design the paper is designed some questions maybe maybe based on this uh, epidemic condition because it was uh, badly affected for the whole world but dear children there are a number of uh, diseases and disorders in respiratory system here we discuss only about few diseases one such uh, disease associated with the respiratory system is common called. I think 99% uh, of the people use in your society uh, however suffered with this common called disease. The causative agent uh, of this disease is a virus. Uh, when you getting infected with this virus headache sneezing running nose cough like symptoms appear and there is no medical treatment for this disease because it is a viral disease this virus can change its protein sheet time frame so there is no permanent uh, treatment but uh, to minimize the uh, conditions associated with this disease and to control the symptoms, you can take some medicines. Uh, you can prevent uh, spreading of this disease by avoiding the dust, mist-like conditions which are good for viral growth. And your recovery process uh, will be uh, quick. However, it is not fatal or lethal within a few days. You are getting recovered from common cold. Pneumonia. It is another uh, somewhat dangerous disease associated with the blood uh, respiratory system. In pneumonia condition, what happens is inflammation and consolidation of the lung tissues. The lung tissues get inflamed. As a result of infection or maybe inhalation of foreign particles or irradiation like uh, impacts and you uh, may hurt even at the, the last stage of corona covid 19 and the people get the pneumonia condition this disease occurs due to bacterium or virus. The lungs are infected and fluid uh, secrete and accumulate in the lungs and the lung capacity, the gas exchange capacity of the person decreases and he feels the difficulty in breathing. And prolonged cold and cough are the main symptoms of pneumonia. It is lethal and the patient should take medicine immediately. You see on the screen some of the symptoms associated with this pneumonic condition. Nasal leg, dry cough, abdominal pain, cold in the head or throat, fever with shivering and chest pain, nausea and vomiting. The patient may uh, show one or more of these symptoms. Another 
disease very commonly reported with uh, respiratory system is asthma uh, asthma condition uh, occurs due to inflammation of respiratory tract the respiratory tract get inflamed swell the reasons for causing this condition is uh, inhaling air with dust pollen sawdust animal fur smoke uh, like uh, particles when they are inhaled with the air uh, inner lining of the respiratory tract get inflamed uh, especially the bronchioles get inflamed and the cross sectional area of the uh, bronchioles narrow down reduces and uh, the, per the person feels difficult in breathing and sometimes a sound emit uh, when the air passes through this narrow down uh, bronchioles what you see on the screen is the normal airway of bronchiole and when a person is affected with uh, asthma condition you see here uh, the air tract or the bronchiole tract uh, get narrowed down and the patient feel difficult in breathing airway is constricted The next disease that you are going to discuss is bronchitis or the bronchiolar inflammation. As the name implies, the bronchus bronchioles swell up or inflamed due to bacterial or viral uh, infection. Heavy cough and difficulty in breathing are the symptoms. And other than the bronchioles, the larynx may get infected and the person feel difficulty in speaking and producing of voice. The voice uh, may not exit properly. The person wants to speak but the voice may not come out properly. Bronchitis is inflammation. Here the uh, normal bronchus after the bronchus is inflamed the lumen of the bronchus the size of the air passage decreases tuberculosis or the tb uh, this is one of the very dangerous uh, respiratory dis disease uh, thousands of people die because of the tuberculosis especially this disease go hand in hand with the poverty uh, it is caused by a bacterium called mycobacterium tuberculosis when this bacteria get into the lungs uh, it reproduces and multiplies and it causes damages to the tissues in the lungs. The lung tissues get damaged and the respiration capacity of the person decreases. And the person feel fatigue and feel difficulty in breathing and cough like uh, symptoms may appear. Uh, when with a cough, uh, sometimes the blood releases. The patient can identify uh, when the blood passes with the cough. Uh, that is the severe condition or the, the last stage of uh, this disease condition. Apart from that, there are some other symptoms associated with tuberculosis. Releasing of blood during the cough, weight loss, the person getting thin and weight uh, decreases and tiredness uh, loss of appetite for food and fever at night or 
uh, flight fever at night. They are the commonly seen symptoms of tuberculosis. The children, there are some other diseases uh, due to uh, smoking. Uh, smoking causes mainly the lung cancers and bronchitis. Cigarette smoke contain carbon monoxide, uh, carbon dioxide, and nicotine like uh, substances. When the carbon monoxide is inhaled, the carbon monoxide can combine with hemoglobin easily more than the oxygen. So the capacity of oxygen trapping by the hemoglobin decreases with more carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide get uh, combined with the hemoglobin, then the oxygen carrying capacity of blood reduces. Uh, nicotine found in the cigarette smoke increases the uh, heart rate, heartbeat it may cause some other conditions uh, in the blood circle system. When a person uh, smoke uh, due to inhaling of this uh, warm or hot smoke, the cilia of the respiratory tract uh, destroys. You know the cilia is important for preventing the dust particles and other foreign particles getting into the uh, lungs and it destroys the cilia and even the inner lining of the bronchus and bronchioles. Because of that condition, the bronchioles and the bronchus get inflamed and it leads to cause bronchitis. The same thing happens to passive smokers also. There are smokers and passive smokers. Though you are not a smoker, sometimes you may be a passive smoker. The same effect get a passive smoker. The children, uh, another uh, disease associated with the respiratory system is asbestosis. You know, the asbestos uh, sheets we use for making the ceiling or the roof. Uh, is asbestosis made by uh, compressing cement particles and other kinds of fiber particles together. It's a composite material. Uh, when these asbestos fibers and the dust is inhaled and get into the lungs, you are getting into a condition called asbestosis. These asbestos particles uh, accumulate uh, in the lungs and the respiratory tract and the tissues get destroyed and the lung capacity, the respiration capacity decreases and it is known as asbestosis. Silicosis is also the same kind of disease, uh, especially the workers who work in quarries and coal mines and glass industry and sometimes at the roadsides with a dusty environment. Are subjected to this uh, silicosis disease. The silicon containing dust particles, uh, rock particles, when getting the respiratory system and lungs, they get deposited and accumulated in the alveoli. So the lung tissues get uh, destroyed or deteriorated gradually. The condition is known as silicosis. I told you at the very beginning, uh, nowadays it is uh, uh, very common term among all the people throughout the world, Corona. It is also a disease associated with the respiratory system. You should study what is Corona and what is the causative agent for the pathogen of Corona and how does it spread, how does it spread and what are the symptoms of the disease and what are the measures that can be taken to control. 
Dear children, in the next video, I thought of discussing about another biological process, uh, excretion. And before starting that lesson, it is very important to do the questions based on the past papers and some of the questions given in your textbook. I hope you'll be doing them uh, with a great interest. Goodbye, children.